so I'm Michael Kurt. I study art history um, at Wadham, and I'm originally from Leicester. Um, grew up in Leicester, going to school in Loughborough. Mm -hmm. Beatles covers, so I learned uh, Yesterday, Help, and Michelle. Um, so yeah, I was nine, but obviously yeah, it took a while for them to start sort of being acceptable to actually play to anyone else other than my parents. So. Nine-year-old me seemed to have like a, an incredible capacity for love lost. On the train, heading south, I will stay. Looking out on the fields and the rain Bob Dylan, in terms of just lyrics, like for me, lyrics have become like a massive priority and I think that definitely came from listening to him. Simple Twist of Fate by, by Dylan is a kind of classic example for me, was always a classic example for me of the way a song can be structured to tell a story um, in the most amazing way. Um, and that's a song that I've always, I like, often try and emulate. Deep blue sky, behind the clouds, birds fly by. Train comes in, platform one, right on time. So the song I'm working on, I was working on today, is actually, um, a song that I first wrote when I was, I think, 13. It was the summer of 2013, I think. Um, I had the melody for ages that I had written. Um, and then I took, I was going on holiday with my cousins. Um, and I took a train journey to join my family on holiday um, at the beach. And on the train I just started writing. Um, and then it, it came to be that it sort of started to become about like a soldier coming home from war. And I don't know where I've been, but I know that I'm going home. I don't know where I've been. Fuck the lyrics. You, as a songwriter, you've got the song, but then the producer is the one enabling you to actually record it. So in a way, you like both of you need to be in the room. There's mm -hmm. no kind of... Um, unnecessary part, um, which can cause a lot of tension I think, but also when it's good it can be like incredibly exciting. Um, and coming here is great because it's a kind of a sort of escape from uni um, when I'm in Oxford and it's a very like free process. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes there are moments when you think, oh god my, my song is being ruined. Um, and they're not, not, not here. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then there are moments when, and then there are moments when it comes together, and you realise that your song has been like completely made. Mm -hmm. But I don't think my, I don't think my music's nostalgic, really. Um, like I think it's, it's less about the past than it is about using the past to come to terms with the present. The guy that produces my music in Leicester always jokes that I'm just like a, must be a miserable person. And I like bring in a new song that's that starts off with some sort of like really depressing line. But I always get kind of frustrated with that because actually it's like I think in in their whole a lot of my songs are very optimistic. I think for me like gigging has always been quite a separate thing um, from songwriting. Songwriting in a way, like I was saying earlier, is a very personal thing um, and it's a very in a way it's quite quiet, kind of weirdly. And then performing obviously is kind of the opposite, like it's all about trying to sort of impress yourself onto like a crowd of people. You you learn a lot about your songs when you're <coughs> when you're performing them. Um, because I think you you can tell without without even sort of seeing the crowd, you can tell what's sounding good. I think most performers enjoy performing their newest stuff because it's hopefully the stuff they're most excited about um, and also like I'm at the level where a lot of a lot of the people in the crowd will be my friends so and, and often will have um, seen me play a lot of times
hope that I'm not just kind of yearning to sort of run away, but like sort of, yeah, as you say, like trying to find some kind of reconciliation in between the two, um, of being young but getting older. Because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't know, despite how people act, like it is scary and it is exciting.